All right, baby animals, they melt the heart every time. And who knew? Baby skunks, they are this adorable. And, and don't you worry. These baby skunks, which are called kits, by the way, huh. had to be rescued in Dade City. So they're okay now. But the Now's Nicole Grigg explains how rare it is to come across these skunks in Florida and why it's important to save them. They are ear piercing. Stay, stay. Part of what Owl's Nest does, I've raised pretty much everything from giraffes on down. I know. Come here. You think Chris Porter's life looks guys. busy now? Add five more mouths to feed. The slower you move, the calmer they are. Five-week-old Eastern spotted skunks. Hi. Don't worry, they haven't developed that stench yet, but they're working on it, practicing the spray position. But as you can see, they're not quite balanced yet. It will be about another month or so until they can figure it out. The glands are there. The glands are just not active with a fluid all the way yet. These skunks are so rare, it's hard to even find how many there are in Florida because there's not much research. They're not endangered, but they're on the vulnerable list. I know, you just want your food. Within the past three food. years, the FWC so office in Tampa has only had two calls about skunks. It could have been a sighting concern or just a general question. They're just not well known and they may be in a classification that they need our help, but they don't know yet. That's why it's so important for Chris to keep these kits for the next few months so they can go back into the wild. They are uh, your rodent and your insect eaters. So in an ecosystem, especially with the swamp rats and that in Florida, these guys are little fierce predators. For the now, I'm Nicole Grigg.